follow the money in Coral Gables election politics. Uh, we've seen in the past week that although it's near unanimity among Coral Gables voters that they are against uh, the zoning code rewrite gifts to developers that would forever change and urbanize our city, the city commission nonetheless, and I submit to you because of money and politics, uh, voted to approve half of the rewrite, um, maybe three-fifths. Um, so what's going on? And it turns us in those who are want to um, keep Coral Gables a suburb uh, and to informal uh, forensic accounts follow the money. Uh, what I'm finding out is that there's two or three major sources of money in politics in Coral Gables. You start out with the fact that Citizens United gave corporations constitutional rights, a bizarre decision that needs to be overturned. It's absurd, but it's real. It's our law. So then you get this money flooding in from developers. Um, it can be affected through two major avenues. One is uh, the regular contributions to city commission candidates where you have a thousand dollar limit per donor. Uh, but then the other one I'm finding out, thanks to uh, some really knowledgeable sources who are willing to talk to me, is that is, is through PACs because there's no limit. So I'm gonna use one example that's uh, affected a recent outcome. Jeanette Schlesing was running for mayor uh, uh, four years ago. Um, I think she was expected to win. A PAC suddenly slammed her with massive uh, defamatory claims that she's anti-Latino. Um, it's, it's not true. Uh, where did that money come from? You don't know. I'm not sure. I need to find out. Uh, but you have this unlimited thing. And so this is, uh, uh, is it illegal? I'm not sure. It's dark money. Uh, you find out from the mailers. When you see a mailer, like the one that slammed her for, defamed her for being anti-Latino, which she's not, who sent that, who paid for that? It's on the mailer. I got to get, this is what I'm digging into now. Follow the money.